It's going to be a fast oh. Oh. and furious ride. You can do one! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very desperate to see my child. I have to go. Like, I want my money back. The boys at the pub are bags. Brave new horizons for some. While others wish they'd never left home. It's like a Nazi dictatorship. It's great. And we reach for the stars. Don't ever complain about that. Have you met the duck? Not recently. But land right back in the gutter. Do you know you've been to the toilet down here? You've been to the wee. How do you think I feel? I feel sick. <laughs> See you later. Bye, airline people. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away If you can use some exotic booze There's a bar in far Bombay Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away Every year, EasyJet flies more than 35 million customers across Europe. A million and a half fly from Luton to Scotland, and most of them arrive on time. But today, Chandra Carlo Magadapathy has arrived late for her flight to Aberdeen and is desperate to get home to her three-year-old son. It's not going to be possible now to get you on the aircraft. <laughs> no, I need to leave my son. It's, 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 I can, there's eight minutes more. So I Where's your son? <laughs> He's in Aberdeen. I need to go home. <laughs> there's still eight minutes. So I'm done. <laughs> there's still eight minutes. Why don't you understand? Okay. There I... are occasions where we have waited for three hours for a flight, EasyJet. No. I waited the... three hours last time because there was a problem because of some friends. Now. You're gonna then we can wait for you. Why can't tomorrow. you do something for us? Oh, I don't want to go tomorrow. I want to go today. I can't get you there this evening. It's still eight minutes left. No, it's not possible. The next flight that we have is, is tomorrow to Aberdeen. Yeah, I don't understand that it is only tomorrow, but why can't I go today? The aircraft takes off in five minutes. So just, that's what I'm telling Just If you just give them a call, just two minutes, I'll just run. That's all. We can't. You know, once the check-in desk is shut, the aircraft and everyone everyone's boarding. Just try, try once for me, please. Oh, okay. yeah, the Aberdeen flight. I've got, got a passenger that's desperate to get on it. Is there any chance we can do anything? OK, cheers, mate. Thank you. Unfortunately please, not. Please, please, let, let them, let them understand my situation as well. No, they don't have me with the service. See, last time we waited three hours. Why can't you wait for three minutes? That's what I'm asking. When we can wait three hours in the, in the lounge, why can't you wait three minutes for us? That's what I'm telling you. I'm very desperate to see my child. I have to go. Let's, let's... I'm just asking, just three minutes, let them wait! No, do you want to come around here first? No, I don't want, I just want to go today! You're being my character, are you? Like that. Away from the front line of everyday business, EasyJet has a very important birthday to celebrate. Oh, it's steady! <laughs> Today is um, EasyJet's 10th anniversary and they've got a special flight going to Glasgow so that was the first ever flight they had going in 1995. We um, have something special for you today just to help celebrate with us. We have some uh, champagne on board. And of course no 10th anniversary would be complete without a party. Purser Bob Brain's been invited. The only trouble is, it's being held in London, and he's got a full day's flying ahead of him, starting in Bristol. Morning, guys. We're going to Glasgow and then Barcelona. It's going to be quite a sentimental thing, really, because I've been here, well, probably one of the few originals now, and tonight it's really for everyone to trip down memory lane. Eager to get the party going, Bob decides to get the passengers involved. This week we're celebrating 10 years of EC Jets and we're having a huge party in London tonight. You come up with the ideal outfit that you think would be ideal for us to wear tonight to this occasion. It's a lady blush, though, isn't it? I've had a 
little look through and I've chosen a few of my favourites to dress up as a gnome of Zurich or Bristol. I think I'm probably too tall to be a gnome, but who knows, maybe down in London they have taller gnomes. I've chosen my favourite. We've got a picture of a guy in a top hat with an orange fig leaf. I think the champagne should go to Mark and April. There you go. Enjoy it. Cheers. Joking aside, the weather forecast isn't good, but Bob's determined to stay on time and on track. We cannot be late today of all days. We will not be late today. Let's put it that way. We've got to be back. Yes, I've got to get to London. For Stelios Hagiano, the man who started it all, Today's 10th anniversary celebrations are just one long photo call. In 1995, Stelios started the company by leasing just two planes. He employed an army of no-nonsense staff who weren't afraid to get stuck in. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on a minute, I can't talk to you all at once. I'm not being stranded at like a cool airport. No, no, right. Don't swear at me, please, OK? Well, Nothing is to be swore at. Stelios himself is no stranger to a good fight, particularly with rival airline Go. He eventually settled the matter by buying the company. They were available for sale and were acquired them. <laughs> EasyJet has since built a £6 million training academy which will train thousands of staff. But reaching the 10 year mark hasn't been easy. At times, just like banging your head against a brick wall. Oh, 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 oh. I can remember a, a number of occasions in the first five years when even a four-hour delay would feel like a, a huge problem. You know, I have to personally apologise to uh, every single passenger on the plane, and some of the customers were seriously upset with us. What's wrong with it? Something with the autopilot. But being worth three quarters of a billion pounds can sometimes save the day. If you have a delayed flight, the best you can, you can do is offer some, something in compensation. Uh, what I would like to do, although I know it's not the compensation in any way, is to buy everybody a free drink. <laughs> the success of EasyJet has made Stelios a household name. Well, almost. Well, it's, it's a difficult name. Confuse me with that other famous great character on television. That's the message for you, Stavros. Stavros, well done. Stavros, I had the kebab shop. <laughs> Good day, thin peeps. <laughs> Distraught mother Chandra Kala has missed her flight to Aberdeen and is running out of options. We can't give you your money back. I don't mind. I just want to cancel it and go off. What was your surname? Magura Party. Okay. We, you know, we have to close people. Okay, whatever it is, I just want to cancel and I'm okay. going, that's it. Bye bye. Yeah. I'm totally unhappy with this. If you're late, we don't wait. Hello? Chandra Kala's job prevented her from making the flight. She's a doctor at the Luton and Dunstable Hospital. I'm late because I was held up in an emergency just before I came out of the hospital. I can't just come off like that. I'm just looking forward to see my child, that's it. My husband is asking me not to drive, but I'm going to drive all the way to Aberdeen. It's going to take her about 10 hours, which is a hell of a long journey. She's exhausted, but I can't hold her here. My recommendation was to get a hotel and go tomorrow morning. You'll probably get there sooner, feeling a bit more refreshed as well. Looking out the windows, you can see that it is uh, raining cats and dogs really here at the moment. Oh, my God. Have you got some umbrellas? Hey. Got some Bob umbrellas. Brain's about to make the final leg of his working day, but the weather conditions have deteriorated badly. Well, you won't need your sunglasses now. I'll put them away till yeah. next year. Uh... I don't want to get off. No, I don't either. I think it must be me. Every time I'm going to something or arrange something, something happens. It looks like he might not get to the party after all. The bad weather means they may be diverted to another airport. It won't be Cardiff because Cardiff is closed. So it would be East Midlands or something like that. I saw it's law in there. Back in Luton, Chandra Kala's husband has persuaded her not to drive to Aberdeen. My husband doesn't want me to drive. He keeps saying, don't drive when you're so emotional. Please don't drive. 
manager Leo Jones is looking into other flights to Scotland from Stansted. What did he say? He said Edinburgh is closer, and I also checked yeah. Edinburgh is closer than Glasgow. OK. And, uh, I'm just going to take the flight from Stansted. I'm very sensitive. That's why you saw me crying all the way up there. And <coughs> I'll be with my child tonight. Chandra Kala may be relieved, but she's got just two hours to get to Stansted. Come on, let's quick, quick, quick. See you leave Stansted at 9.25. You need to get on this bus to the train station, go to Farringdon, then Liverpool Street, and then Stansted. OK, Thank see you. you later. Bye-bye. I hate seeing people crying. I never know what to do. People do naturally get really angry and annoyed when I tell them they can't get on their flight, but... Slowly, step by step, minute by minute, she calmed down. Now she's on the bus, she's as happy as Larry. Despite the appalling weather, Bob Brain has made it home to Bristol. Been on duty for nearly 12 hours. I'm tired. A few problems during the day with weather, but we made it. But with the 10th anniversary celebrations in full swing 122 miles away in London, Bob faces a mad dash to get there in time. It's 8 o'clock, running very late. It's been a mad panic all day. I'm just feeling happy to be here because at one point I thought we weren't going to be here until the party finished. There's loads of people there that I haven't seen for a while. One of those people being Leo, who, coming from nearby Luton, has had a considerable head start. Ah, Leo! How are you doing? Good, mate. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good, mate. I didn't arrive till late. You're looking good. It's really good to see Bob. You know, you can go for absolute weeks, months without seeing people, and then a party like this just brings everyone together. We're coming up to quarter to midnight. I got up this morning at half past three, so I've been on the go oh, a long time. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. And I hope that in ten years we've been a similar sort of celebration, celebrating the best years of my life! At Luton Airport, manager Leo Jones has met a rather important figure in the world of show business. And Ken Brown and direct. Yes, yes. Regular customer David Pugh is a producer of big London shows. So what is it you're producing at the moment? You're in the West End, aren't you? Well, I've got two shows that are, that yeah. are about to open within 16 hours of each other. Okay. But Ducktastic, the one I'm most excited about. You should come so to the opening. Do you I'd want to love come? to, yeah. There's a very special star. He's making his West End debut. Come and see it, and, and you can come and meet the star in his number one dressing room. I'd love to. Yes! It was definitely my lucky day today. Absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get down there. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Just need to get the day off work now. <laughs> Airline pilots, responsible, rational, train for years to ensure they don't fall out of the sky. But after he's flown to Madrid, Phil Cullen is going to do just that. I'm going to do a free fall skydiving course uh, at a place just about an hour south of Madrid. I'm a little bit apprehensive about what I'm going to face in the course. What I'm going into is something that I know nothing about. Most people think about a commercial pilot, they think, oh, you know, you're really sensible and level headed. And, you know, and I am sensible and level headed when, when I have a uniform on. But when I take a uniform off, that's when I kind of, the real me, I guess, comes out. Sauce, Phil's reputation for being drawn to the riskier side of life seems to be well known among his colleagues. He is a bit mad and outrageous, so um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that he's going to do something like that. But there's even a rumour going around that he might be doing it naked. On his way to the world premiere of Ducktastic, Leo's reached the bright lights of London's theatre land. And when he arrives to meet the show's producer, David Pugh, Leo gets a special introduction. To savour the duck. 
This is Sabre. Say hello to Leah. Sabre. This is Leah. This Sabre. Is Leah. Oh, go on. What's the show about? In Las Vegas, mm -hmm. there used to be an enormous show, a wonderful show, by Siegfried and Roy, two magicians who worked with 23 white Siberian tigers. And we're doing that show, all the same tricks, mm -hmm. but we're doing it with 23 white ducks instead. I hope you have a ball. Thanks nice to meet you, Take much. care. All right. He's told me that there's going to be, uh, definitely going to be some celebrities here. So you just keep looking around, and you're on edge, and your heart's jumping. I never thought I'd be like this. I thought I'd be just calm, cool, and collective. I'm a nervous wreck. EasyJet pilot Phil Callan has reached a small airfield near Madrid where he'll be learning how to jump out of a plane rather than fly one. The more and more I think about this, the more nervous I'm getting. Talking about it now is making me feel even more nervous, I think, than actually doing it. Can we stop talking about it? <laughs> That's good, and then just point your toes if you're pushing them upwards. Instructor Barry Maple is at hand to cool. teach Phil how to skydive. Check in. OK. Check out. OK. Out. In. Out. Cool. Weather conditions mean skydiving is a little trickier than usual today. Oh, I want to leave. <laughs> and it gets worse for Phil. The appearance of a mini tornado means his jump is in jeopardy. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Say nice things about me when I'm gone. <laughs> Excitement has reached fever pitch at the premiere of Ducktastic as the celebrities start to arrive. And Leo's determined not to miss out on the action. Thanks, Bob. Can I shake your hand really quickly? Good to me. For the celebrities, there's just no escape. It has a, a sort of pantomime follow. I met Jason Donovan, Roger Moore. Good to meet you. David Bedell. Have you met the duck? Not recently, no. Excellent. No. I've met the duck. Very... I live near a pond, though. I'm doing Panda at the end of the year. Excellent. I'm doing a show next year. Good stuff. Set, so. Look forward to it. Good to meet you, Stephen. You take care. See you later. That was Stephen Gailey. Boys, oh, it was also. <laughs> yes. Kenneth, kind of, sorry, can I just have the opportunity to shake your hand? And then the chance for our resident stalker to meet one of the biggest names in British film and theatre. And who was it? He was Kenneth uh, Brown. You mean Branner, Leo, Kenneth Branner. Honestly. The next two hours promise to be a quacking time. Fantastic! It's been amazing. I've met some great people. This is one of those days I'm going to take with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's been absolutely surreal. It's absolutely ducktastic. In Spain, the winds have died down, but that's no real comfort to Phil. Look at my hands are shaking. I'm shaking like a dog. Is it too late to back out? Here goes. That was just unreal. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. OK, left, hold on a little bit. What? A little bit more left. That's great. OK, keep, keep, let the toggles all the way up, keep it flying. And flare. 
Congratulations, mate. That was a really nice skydive. Really good. Okay. Here's me. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. That was excellent. My ass is still up there. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, man, that was Enjoy good. It. Right, let's go again. <laughs> Chandra Kala was reunited with her three-year-old son. Some of the stardust eventually rubbed off on Leo. How does he know my name? And Bob was the last to leave the party.